This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Soidos. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. First of all, I will start drawing from the top plane. In the top plane, I will draw a rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 140 unit by 65 unit. Okay, as the diameter is 65, so this length will be 65 unit. Okay, after that we can see we will start boss it to 30. Uh, extra boss it to 32 plus 28 unit so it, it will be 60 unit so it will be equal to this diameter 60 unit okay after that portion has been done we have some extra cut portion first of all we have a rectangular extra cut here and this rectangular extra cut has a distance of 28 unit from here to here and from here to here it has a distance of 18 unit then here i will draw a center line from here to here and from the center line, I will draw two offset line. One is from here, and another is from here. And these two offset line has a total distance of 30 units, so the half distance will be 30 divided by two, so it will be 15 units both. Then I will close the shape. Then I will to cut this two portion. Okay, let's do this portion. So first of all, I am selecting the top plane here. Now select the sketch. Now normal to it. After select the, uh, let's select the center rectangle. Okay, selecting the center rectangle, drawing a center rectangle of 140 unit by 65 unit okay now i submit it for a better view now go to features now it's to boss now it's to boss it to 60 unit okay it's to bossing it to 60 unit and from and it's to bought it from the uh, mid plane okay it's to bossing it to from the mid plane now press okay now select the right plane here now sketch now normal to it after that select a corner rectangle okay selecting a corner rectangle placing a corner rectangle here okay uh, corner rectangle has been placed now select this one dimension tool and from this here to this bottom the distance is uh, the total distance is uh, will be 28 unit okay and from here to here the total distance is let me think about so it will be 140 minus uh, 68 plus 18 unit okay if you go back to our sketch you can see uh, this distance is 140 unit minus 68 plus 18 unit okay let's go back to our sketch now press ok now I submit ticket for a better view now go to features now it should cut now to cut it to through all both okay to cut it to through all both now press ok so this portion has been done now selecting this upper portion now I sketch now normal to it now select a center line ok select a center line and placing the center line here after this center line has been placed now press ok now select the smart dimension tool and from this line to this line and the distance is 18 unit ok the distance is 18 unit so this portion has been done now press ok now let's go to offset injuries and select this two line as the total distance is 30 unit so half distance will be 30 divided by 2 so it will be 50 unit now by the external now press ok now select the line tool and close the shape okay selecting the line tool and closing the shape so you can select the line tool and do the same for the other part also so place your point here draw a line and draw the full rectangle okay this portion has been also been done and now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now it's to cut now it's to cut it to through all now press ok now in our sketch let's go back to our sketch in our sketch we can see we have a circular profile and this circular profile has a dimension of 65 diameter and it has a extra cut of 20 and diameter and it has a extrude boss of 48 unit okay so first of all i will select this upper face and this lower face then i'll draw a plane reference plane and from that reference plane i will draw i will draw this portion okay and in here we can see it as it, it is a right plane along, along right plane so we don't need any reference plane and from the right plane uh, I will draw 
a circular profile, a circle of of 60 diameter. Then I will I'll draw a screw cut of 25 diameter. Okay, let's go back to our sketch. Now selecting this upper face. Now rotate it and select this lower face. Now select the reference plane. Okay, let me do this again. Select this upper face. Now rotate it and control click this lower face and now both face has been selected now go to reference and select the plane and now a middle uh, plane will be created now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now select this plane now sketch now normal tweet after that now select a circle and draw a circle at the center of this point and draw a circle of 65 diameter okay now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features now it's to boss now it's to boss it to 48 unit okay it's to boss it to 48 unit now it's to boss it 48 unit uh, from the mid plane now press ok so this portion has been done now select again select this that plane now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and place the circle draw a circle to the previous uh, circle center line center and this circle has a dimension of 20 diameter now I submit ticket for a better view. Now go to features. Now I should cut. Now I should cut it to through all both. Okay, I should cut it to through all both. Now press OK. So this portion has been done. Now select this face. Now hide it. Now select the right plane. Now sketch. Now normal to it. Now uh, move it here. Okay. Now select circle and draw a circle at the midpoint. Okay, drawing a circle of mid in the midpoint. And this portion has a dimension of 60 diameter. Now I submit ticket for a better view and if we look back to our sketch it has a extra boss of 15 and uh, 50 unit okay so go to features now is to boss so now is to boss it to 50 unit now from the mid plane okay now press okay so this portion has been now now we need to draw the extra cut portion and for that I'm selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it after that select the circle tool and draw a circle to the previous center uh, and this circle has a dimension of 25 diameter now I submit ticket for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both through all both now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different